my brother Carlos came to me one time and he said, yo, Hargo, let's take a picture of your standing bow. And Carlos is the amazing photographer, videographer behind this project. And so he comes to me and he says, let's, let's photograph standing bow. And I said, okay, I'll be back in one hour. And so I go to the yoga room and I proceed to do back bending, hip opening, spine twisting, upper trapezius work, everything to really contract and relax the muscles required for this very sophisticated yoga pose. And I found that any time that I would do yoga competition or want to demo standing bow, that if I really wanted to be maximum warmed up and, and, and get the most out of the pose, that, that I found these five elements of the, of the posture really came in useful. So I started teaching it as a workshop and I started sharing it with some of my friends and some of my students and found that all their standing bows got so much better after just really one hour of the practice and it really doesn't matter where you're at with it. What I hope you'll get out of this is that as you tune into the pose, as you go into the pose, you can just introduce each of these elements gently. But what I also found in watching students practice is that a lot of them, they'll get one element, they'll get two elements, but they'll miss out in three, three or four of the other elements that produce really awesome mobility and healing and really uh, additional layers uh, to this very sophisticated posture. So. I'm, uh, I'm excited that you've tuned in this far, and um, let's get started and get the body warmed up. We'll do pranayama breathing, and here we go. Think Bikram style. Interlock your 10 fingers, knuckles to the chin, thumbs with the throat. Move your ribs. Inhale by the nose. Big breath in, elbows up high. Exhale, knuckles to the chin, elbows touch. Inhale, big breath, full lungs. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your glutes, press feet to the floor. Use lots of strength through the legs. Create your circulation. Elbows touch, inhale up, rib cage wide, belly in. Go a little bit faster than normal if you like. You can slow it down if you want, but you just want to get good breaths in. You want to move shoulders, move ribs, belly in, and squeeze your thighs, pull kneecaps up, press feet to the floor. Get good breaths in through the nose. Exhale out by the mouth. Look up towards the sky. And keep breathing. Elbows off to the side, elbows up high. Squeeze belly, elbows touch. And then when you're done, nice and warm, relax arms down by your side. Here's another pranayama that I like. It's just real simple. Inhale, arms over the head, big breath in, ribs, ribs wide. And then again, you just, I like squeezing the muscles. I really like the muscle contraction. I think the circulation's great. I think it powers up your heart. It moves your blood. And, and just by the time you start to get into the poses, you're really ready to go. So it's real simple. Arms off to the side, big breath in, almost like the start of a sun salutation. Again, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your hips, press feet to the floor, use the muscle contraction, communicate to the heart. And then you'll be ready to go. Shoulder shrugs. Inhale, shoulders to your ears. Exhale, relax down. So the upper trapezius muscle becomes super important in your standing bow because you have this, you have this movement of the shoulders that happens. And just as you, as you tune into the tension here in the shoulders, you both learn to contract and relax because as the shoulders go up, on one side of your standing bow, the other side of the shoulder drops down, and that comes and, uh, and plays a part into shoulder blade scapula in the spine twist. You can use a breath, inhale up, squeeze, 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 exhale, relax down. Arms out to the side, and then you're gonna go thumbs down, thumbs up. And then you're just again gonna rotate at the shoulder blade scapula level and just let the shoulders open. I learned this from, from my brother Gabe in Bikram East Austin. I think he probably learned this from Mary, but um, really nice way to open up your shoulders and you get a little close up here and you can just kind of see the blood flow starting to move through the shoulder blade area. I like to sh squeeze my shoulder blade scapulas together. Um, you can also probably do it without so much uh, emphasis on shoulder blade scapula opening. Maybe do 10 or 20 reps and you'll really start to feel it 
uh, in in this really kind of important part of thoracic spine for finding mobility in the standing bow. Then right arm out, palm facing up, elbow touching the body, just like the start of standing bow, and then you bring the arm off to the side, and you just get a couple repetitions of moving shoulder blade scapula. Okay, again, the 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 the, the arm with the side up, arm off to the side that grabs the standing foot has a very important contraction role to play because the right side of the body, assuming you're doing standing bow on the right side, squeezes tremendously. It creates contraction on the right side body and that creates a lot of the space that you need for the kicking leg to go up to the sky. Do maybe 10 or 20 reps here as well. And then get the left side Left arm out, palm facing up, elbow touching the body, and then just bring it off to the side. And again, just put the mind into the muscle, okay? So you start to make this connection between mind and body of, of what you think about, you can move. And what you think about, you can send circulation. And what you think about, you can build strength with. So we've got trapezius warmed up, upper trapezius, lower trapezius. We've got some movement into shoulder blade scapula, lats and serratus. Let's work on chin to shoulder, okay? So again, we've got the hips facing the mirror, okay? If you've got lights on the hips, they're pushing towards the mirror, but the rib cage is moving. Their shoulders are moving. And then that's gonna, that's gonna help you get chin to the shoulder, okay? Really important cue in your standing bow pose and you can just do a couple reps of back and forward and just get the habit of 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 controlling stress into upper trapezius muscle the ability to both create power and then relax and that's what we do right here is we just bring one arm forward the other arm forward and use fingertips keep fingertips engaged because fingertips finger strong fingertips reflect strong presence of mind. Use a breath. You can go inhale forward, exhale back. Also just gives another layer. And then this is, a, this is something that I learned from Kundalini. Okay, you just inhale left, exhale right, and just let the neck warm up. Okay, because there's this there's, there's a tremendous movement in the neck and you'll watch in a lot of students' practices, those really tight necks prevent the mobility required for chin to the shoulder. So you can just inhale left, exhale right, or inhale right, exhale left and switch it back and then make the connection and just let the neck be warm. And don't push yourself through these poses. The purpose of standing, uh, Secrets of Standing Bow is actually, it's gentle. Okay, so you, you, you just take a gentle approach to finding these different muscle groups. And again, a lot of problems that you'll see with people doing standing bow is hip pain, or they're not finding the spine twist, but especially the hip pain. And, and so one of the things that I love about Secrets of Standing Bow is you just, you get so much blood flow going through the body that once you go into your deep pose, you're ready for it. Ardha Chandrasana, Parastasana, Half Moon Pose, also just a really nice warm up, um, warm up the side body, and then especially the back bend. So squeeze your legs, push your hips forward, left hip forward, two shoulders in one line, deep breath in, stretch up, go to the other side, and then suck stomach in, chin up, chest up, see your eyes, squeeze the palms, okay? Make tremendous contraction of the palms, and then back up to the center. Inhale, breathing, stretch up, drop your head back. Okay, and then just move gently. Okay, move gently to a deep spot. Wherever you can breathe, that's as deep as you go. Lifting heart to the sky the whole time, push hips forward. Okay, lift the heart up, look towards the back, lock your elbows, squeeze your palms. Look to the back, squeeze your palms, point fingertips down to the earth, and then breathe. Soft, steady breath, lock your elbows, push hips forward, squeeze your glutes. Okay, lift heart center towards the sky, press feet to the floor, strong legs make for strong back bends. 
pointing the index finger knuckles down, and then you get nice warm up through the back. Lift the heart, lift the heart, lift the heart, squeeze the legs, change, inhale, breathing, slowly come up. We're not gonna do the forward fold. I, I don't find it to be so necessary in terms of just preparing for standing bow. We'll come to the floor. Start with low cobra, forearms to the earth. I love low cobra. Lots of opportunities, just push belly to the floor, push heart center towards the mirror, and you get to just start to wake up all the muscles that hold spine in place. And they're all gonna become important as you get into, into standing bow. Look to the sky, breathe, push heart center forward, push belly down, change, relax down. Regular Cobra, hug the elbows towards each other. I teach a regular Cobra a little bit differently because I like back bending fully through the spine. So I push heart forward, push belly down, squeeze all the muscles, look up to the sky, squeeze the legs, and change, rest. Push yourselves up, puppy. Okay, drop heart center towards the sky, butt to the sky. Or drop heart center to the, to the mat, hips to the sky. Chin forward, stretch the arms out. Let the shoulders open so you get a nice throat stretch and you get just a little bit more circulation into the shoulder blade scapula, lats, and serratus, okay? Because those guys, that mobility and strength in the pose becomes super important. So just take some nice breaths here, okay? If it's too difficult to get the heart center down, just extend the arms out and then just wait. Don't make it too hard on yourself. And then change, slowly come out. We'll stretch the shoulders, okay? Lying onto your belly, roll to the right side. Extend right arm away from you. And again, you're just gonna get this nice stretch into the right side shoulder. And you determine how deep you wanna go. Press left foot to the floor, right hand palm down. Use left foot for stability. You can use left arm to determine how far you wanna go. Again, super gentle if it's the first time doing this. Okay, and then you go to the other side roll to your right side or roll to your left side hip left arm out and then stretch left side shoulder take a couple nice breaths here let it happen okay let it happen with these stretches don't force them just let them happen a couple more breaths in by the nose out by the nose Come to Cancun. It's always a hot room in Cancun. I'm here at Casa Home Potomac, or Casa Home <laughs> Mexico. All right, back to full cobra, okay? Full cobra only if you want. Push yourself up. I like full cobra just because it forces me to contract thoracic spine if I'm to get my, my, my cookie, which is toes to the head, okay? So I drop my head back, push my heart forward, but honestly, totally not required. But it just helps me find that upper back mobility that we kind of all are looking for in these more deeper back bends. Take a couple good breaths there, let it happen, and then change relax the muscles but you see those little lines in the spine that's what we're looking for because that's how we know we're we're really calling on blood from the heart to come here we contract we squeeze 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 and then all the blood and circulation comes to those areas spine twist bend your left knee left foot outside of the right hip left foot up and over left hand comes over right knee grabs left knee wrap right arm around and then take big breaths. Push belly to the thighs, sit up nice and tall, and then twist. See if you can stretch fingertips in towards hips, and then twist, okay? Right shoulder down, left shoulder up and back, and then change, flip around other side. Left foot up and over the right knee, right hand grab to right knee, left shoulder up and back, right shoulder down, two shoulders, one line, push belly to the thigh, Take big breath, and then as you exhale, suck stomach in, and then see if you can move the ribs. See if you can press right rib to left thigh. Press right rib to left thigh as you bring left rib 
back. That's gonna become super important in your standing bow, that ability to move the rib cage, okay? Because that, that, that spine twisting happens can, can, can be really uh, improved with rib cage mobility. A vinyasa style spine twist, Ashtanga style spine twist, bend your right knee, right foot to the floor, left arm up and over, and then again, push belly to the thigh as you exhale, move ribs. And then take these big breaths in. And then as you exhale, see if you can find mobility in the rib cage. And keeping right foot to the floor, you can even engage left foot and then change other side, left foot in towards the earth, right arm up and over, left arm behind you for support. And then again, see if you can find ribs, okay? Find ribs and then find shoulders. And as you go through these poses, okay? Option one, you always do the pose. Option two, you do it with tremendous concentration, focus. Option three, put in breath. Option four, you can even put in mantra, recitation, but we'll get into that another day. Pigeon, right foot back, okay? Shin parallel with yoga mat. Option three, you can even extend the foot further so it's no longer parallel with the knee but closer towards the yoga mat and then just let the hips open okay use the breath to go inside the body and then change runner stretch okay runner stretch right knee below right hip left foot forward pull left kneecap up flex left toes and just let the left side hamstring stretch option one i want you to stay there Okay, option two, you're feeling a little bit more open in the hips, Hanumanasana, take your split. Okay, keep the left leg squeezed, and then you can see if you can place back of the left kneecap to the earth as you bring right hip forward. Flex the left toes, take your standing bow this way without the balance. Right hand, you can see it can't quite get to my foot, but eventually one day it does, left arm to the sky. Other side. Pigeon, right foot to left hip, left knee forward, top of the left foot down, square your hips, right hip back, left hip forward, fold forward, eventually, breathe into the pose. Okay, option one, the heel's pretty close to the hip, okay? Give yourself some credit for where you're at. Option two, okay? Shin more parallel with the yoga mat, foot further away from you. Give yourself some credit for where you're at, okay? Good habits are started with good thoughts. Building good thoughts into the poses, they're easier to do. Extend the right foot further away from you. Terrible pigeon, okay? If, it's, if it, it, you want even more in the hip, extend the foot away from you, but you choose, okay? And don't, don't overdo it, because we got a lot to do. And then breathe into your pigeon wherever you're at. Wherever you're at. Extend the arms away from you. Take a couple nice breaths here. Runner stretch, right side, right foot forward. So notice how the hips are on top of the knee, okay? Hips are on top of the knee, right foot flexes back towards you, okay? Couple good breaths here, this is plenty, okay? This is plenty so that you feel the hamstrings. Again, secret to standing bow, purpose of it is just really, I wanna be able to feel the hamstrings so that I don't get into the sophisticated pose and I, I'm, I'm unaware. I wanna get in and I wanna feel so many things because the more I feel, the, 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 the more I'm getting out of it. And sit the hips down. Try to sit up nice and tall. Sometimes one hip's looser or tighter than the other. Here I am trying to get the left hip coming forward. Reach left arm back if you want. Extend right arm up towards the sky. Touch chin to the shoulder. Give yourself a standing bow on the floor, okay? Stretch fingertips up. Keep them nice and strong. Notice how right ribs are extending. Left ribs contracting. A couple more breaths into your into your split, and then when you're ready, you can change. Come on out. Come lying down into your back. Bend your knees, soles of the feet to the floor, knees to the sky. Glute muscles have a, have a role to play, and 
depending on where you're at with the pose, they may contract or you may be ready, ready to relax, but certainly the awareness that they're there and they're part of the experience, I found to be super helpful. So I love these hip raises, which I probably learned from Pilates or something. And again, what we want in standing bow, it's not necessarily that it's gonna be perfect, okay? Obviously everybody wants a beautiful yoga pose, but, but what I found is for everybody, no matter where you're at, if you find the muscles in the pose, it makes for, it makes for a really nice experience of the posture. Soles of the feet to the floor. I like this variation of, floor, of uh, wheel pose. Extend the feet away from you. Okay, pull your kneecaps up. Try to go long with the legs. I just like this version of, of wheel. You can try it. Look up towards the sky, chin to the heart. Okay, breathe into the posture. Let the shoulders open. Look up towards the sky. And then relax body down. Cat stretch. Okay, right knee up and over. Cross it over the left side body. Send the fingertips away from you. So knees to the right, upper body and head look to the left. Come over to the wall. Do the splits on the wall. Okay, option one, you're gonna place your hands palms to the earth, lift one leg up to the sky. Touch to the column or the wall. You can be three or four feet away. Okay, legs can bend, okay? If the legs are pretty tight. We just want this, we just want this feeling of one hamstring stretching with hip opening. And then as you get a little bit more warmed up, you can back your foot back to the wall as you extend toes to the sky, okay? And then as you just start to, start to let the hamstrings warm up, you can open up a little bit more and just see where you get. And then a couple breaths in wherever you're at. Standing bow on the wall, left arm up to the sky, place, place left hand palm to the, to the wall and then shift your armpit towards the column. Simultaneously grab right foot from the back, kick toes up towards the sky. But you get this little bit of help balancing as you point toes to the sky. Squeeze your leg, pull your kneecap up, press foot to the floor, and then change. You can do the other side. Okay, but take your time. Okay, use the balance for support so you get to find the elements. Okay, find the shoulder blade scapula. Find the quadratus lumborum, it's the lower back muscles that you activate, especially in Cobra. Squeeze left glute just a little bit, point toes to the sky, let the glutes contribute like you did in those hip raises. Okay, go chin to the shoulder, find upper trapezius muscle, flex left bicep a little bit, pull the foot forward and change. So start to tie the elements into the posture. And let's do some standing bow. Right arm up. Grab left foot from the inside. Right shoulder comes up like your shoulder shrug. Then you've got shoulder blade scapula activated. Squeeze the left side body and then move the ribs like you did in the spine twist. Kick toes up towards the sky, okay? Pull the right kneecap up, squeeze right foot. Pull the left foot forward. Try to get two feet in one line. Touch chin to the shoulder. Find the spine twist, okay? Now back bend. Okay, as much back bend as you possibly can is gonna create the space for the feet to come stacked over each other. Change. So see how my left side body is contracted here and the right side is extended. See the contraction, how much shorter the left side body is? That's gonna create the space for the opening of the hip. Okay, but you've gotta be able to find shoulder blade scapula, find left side back muscles, Kick toes up towards the sky. See, deltoid engages, okay? That neck tension, hopefully, is can be activated to touch chin to the shoulder. So trying to get two shoulders in one line, right shoulder forward, left shoulder back, left toes to the sky, body down, leg up, and you kick, okay? Keep the left arm engaged and then kick. See, try to get toes over the top of your head in the mirror. Push the left foot away from you. Squeeze left glute if you need to so that you can start to start to touch chin to the shoulder, body down, and change. So those are the secrets of standing bow. All the elements of the pose, you can also find in your meditation. And I find this visioning process to be super helpful. 
to find each of the different healing benefits and, and elements of the practice. Let's do it together. So go ahead and close your eyes. Sit up nice and tall, tuck your chin in, lift your heart. And I want you to create a little movie for yourself. So as you keep your eyes closed, wipe the slate clean, and I want you to envision your own self. And I want you to put yourself into the standing bow. Okay, and as you draw this picture in your mind, okay, stretch maybe the left arm up to the sky, touch chin to the shoulder, squeeze right side body, grab right foot at the ankle, and then in your own mind, extend left arm forward. Squeeze right side body, extend left. Flex right bicep, okay? Put your mind into the muscles. Find that right side glute, activate the glute, and squeeze right side QL muscle. So you squeeze quadratus lumborum. Extend the left arm forward, touch chin to the shoulder, okay? Make it happen in your own mind so you see yourself actively using consciousness to create movement. Then as you bring your body down, point toes to the sky, let the hip open, okay? Just open a little bit without creating too much tension or strain. Squeezing the right side body, extend left shoulder forward, right shoulder back so you get the two shoulders in one line. And then in your own mind, envision toes come up over the top of the head in the mirror, toes in one line from the side, and you get a straight line from right toes to left heel. And then all the elements of trapezius muscle, chin to the shoulder, hip opening, spine twisting, balancing, strength building, all those elements tie together in the pose, and you put that into your own meditation. And then just sit with yourself for a second and just let the vision happen. And then in your own mind, wipe the slate clean. Come back to a still place. Come back to concentration, focus, relaxation. Good work. That's the conclusion of Secrets of Standing Bow. Thanks for doing it. Drop some comments in the notes below. Let me know what you think of the, of the class. Take care, guys. Namaste.